Hello, today we are going to start our first activity based on Tinker Orbit and the name of this activity is how to glow the LED and in order to do that let's begin with step number one. In step number one we have to arrange all the components required for this activity. So the component one is LED which is an output device. It is brain and it is used here to understand the coding concept which I will let you know in the last step. This is the power bank which is used here to power up the whole circuitry. And this is called the 3 pin connector and we are using here it to connect our device with the brain. So in this step, step number 2, we are going to do the connections and in order to do that, I will first of all join my LED with the brain. So in order to do that, I will first of all take this 3 pin connector as you can see. I will take one end on the LED and the second end I will insert in the D6 pin of the brain. So this is the D6 pin of the brain. I will be using this. So I will insert in, in this way. So you see it is connected now. D6 is connected on LED. I will put it back again. I will first of all connect the first end of this cable here and the second end in the brain. Okay. Like this. So now you can see it got powered up. Okay. Now in third step we will uh, we will do the coding part. So to, in order to start with that, first of all, make sure your Bluetooth in your mobile is on or not. Okay, if it is on, it's okay. If it is not, so you can click on it and make it on. And second step is that uh, the Tinker Orbit mobile application should be in your mobile. It should be installed. If it is not, so you can uh, take it from the Play Store and install it. Okay, now when I'll click on this, so very first screen will come like uh, there will be no any code here empty screen and here are some options from where I have to drag drop my respected block for the activity okay so for the activity I need that just key, uh, it should get on so for that what I will do first of all I will go in lights so in lights I have option set LED on so I will drag drop let's make it big little bit so you can see it is set, uh, telling us set LED on. So it is asking for the pin like uh, my LED is on uh, attached on which pin on the hardware. So on the hardware I have attached on D6 pin. So I will select my 6th pin of the LED for the LED. Okay. Now it is asking 2. 2 means whether you what you want that it should get. So it means like on and off. So to make it on. So again I will go here and make it. So high means on and if I'll make it low, so it will going to be low. So that's why I will, I'll make it high. And one more block I will take. So why I'm taking, I'll tell you, I'm dragging and dropping it here. So wait 1000 millisecond means, uh, means uh, when I send my code, so it will be not like that while sending it will start glowing. So it will take a one second delay and then it will start glowing the LED. So that's why I have to take this. So this is all about, let's uh, send this code from this uh, mobile application to the brain. So in order to do that, what we'll do, first of all, we'll select the brain. So here you can see the brain is Tinker and I'll play it. So once it would get done, so it will show here that your code is done or not. So verifying and code uploaded. After verifying the code, it will tell you that whether the code is uploaded at now okay so you can see LED is glowing now okay so this is the part that how to glow the LED one thing more we can do like uh, after glowing if you want that your LED should blink so what you will do nothing you have to do only you have to copy these two blocks again and put it here and instead of high you just need to make it low so what I will do I'll click on I'll make it duplicate duplicate means I'm uh, it means like uh, I'm copying it okay so let me scroll it. Okay, I'll make it off. And again, I will take this. I'll make it duplicate and put it in. Now, when I will just again send this code to this brain, 
so this time my LED will not glow it will start blinking so it means on and off on and off so you you can see that it is turning on for one second and turning off for one second okay in extension like if you do uh, want to uh, get the output on other devices so what you can do in extension you can even use buzzer okay so like i have right now buzzer so i will be replacing this buzzer with led so let me put it here for a meantime and i will put like this so you can see you can hear the sound so buzzer is getting uh, high for one second and not getting high for one second so it is like indications okay so i hope you have understood the concept and the coding is very easy so keep practicing and i'll be coming with new activity next time take care bye bye thank you